So let's talk today about the simple act of holding space for another person. A lot of times when another person comes to us with a problem or they're emotionally dysregulated, they've had a bad day, they're struggling with something, the tendency is sometimes to go into fix it mode or problem solving mode or solution mode or it's not that bad or at least or you know good vibes only and so when we jump to that it doesn't allow the other person to feel seen heard validated or understood and some people grew up in a home where they were never seen heard or validated or um, acknowledged for whatever emotion or given a label for what emotion they're feeling and so they're still struggling as, as an adult sometimes and the flip side of that is just allowing someone else who's in front of you to feel what they're feeling. And that could be a child, that could be your spouse, that could be your uh, partner, it could be a friend, it could be a coworker, it could be anybody. And just holding space. And that means maybe actively listening, maybe giving a nod, saying things like, tell me more, what happened? What happened after that? How did you respond? Wow, what was that like for you? And allowing them to tell the story, allowing them to feel what they're going to feel. Notice what comes up in your body when someone else is having a really strong emotional reaction. A lot of times people are trying to get the other person to go into problem solving mode because they can't handle what goes on in within themselves when someone else is emotionally dysregulated. So the work is actually being present within your own physical body to stay calm and regulated and notice and hold space for yourself and hold space for the other person, whatever's coming up for them. I don't necessarily have to fix it. And what I notice is that when you give somebody else that space and you allow them to process that emotion and they feel seen and heard and validated, then and only then are they ready to move into some sort of problem solving mode, should we need to do that. And the actual act of holding space for one another is actually what provides connection. And in a world where attention is the new currency, and we're actually all seeking connection at some level, as we're busy scrolling through social media in whatever form, we're looking through for connection in, I think, the wrong place. And sometimes that connection that we're looking for is right in front of us, right? And if we can find someone to hold space for each other. And beautiful things happen when we can do that. So practice that act, being present in the moment, noticing what comes up in your body, watching the other person and their breath and their uh, facial expression, and just allowing them to feel whatever they're going to feel. And even asking that question when someone comes to you with the problem, do you want me to listen right now or do you want to problem solve right now? And they'll tell you, they usually know, I just want you to listen. And so sometimes you just have to sit and nod your head and be in a place where you're actively processing what they're going through. And notice how that changes your friendships, your relationships, and reach out if you have any questions about the process. Take care.